Hello, 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 and welcome again to another Imperium Galactic Survival video in the Reforged Eden Scenario Pack. Um, uh, currently, I will be doing some of the missions on this planet before I decide to go out to space, because it seems that I lack in currency to purchase some various things that I'm going to need. And I believe that doing these missions would grant me some of that currency. So now that I've got weapons and I've got a, a small vessel capable of shooting things down, I thought that I would come back here and activate this bridge console, which will more than likely stir up some drones. So. Let's go in here and check it out. UCHO 11 navigation console, machine boot up sequence, operating on reserve power, battery remaining 3%, retrieving log files. One unread message, access is restricted. Please log into view messages. Uh, is it J Pallant? Alright, try again. Let's get this. Is it my own? No. Oh. Um. Okay, I guess it was. Welcome, Lieutenant Commander Combat. There is one unread message saved on this terminal. Would you like to view it? From Lieutenant G. Romilly. Or Romilly. To all local date. The Hiddleberg is lost. We've been lucky these past few weeks, but patrols have been closing in once the forest fires caused by the wreckage died down. Can't stay here any longer, and Ensign Emerson won't last much longer with her inner juries. We'll be leaving at first light in the morning, so I'm leaving this message for anyone who finds the ship, along with a copy of all related data, so you won't be going in blind. The UCH Expeditionary Fleet was pulled off course, after initiating a long-ranged warp jump using the MS Titan's advanced warp drive to drum jump to Proxima Centauri, pulled into a fissure like a spreading crack through the fabric of the subspace that dragged the fleet over two and a half million light years to the middle of the Andromeda galaxy and into the waiting arms of the Xerax war fleet. Several of our ships crashed on this planet after sustaining damage, and we've successfully made contact with several other groups of survivors. And we'll, we'll be heading to the neutral station on the far side of the planet, where we've organized transportation off-world from one of the local factions. We've managed to compile a translation key built for their language, Andromeda Trade Standard. That's attached to this message. Make sure you copy it to your suit's hard drive and set it to decompile. We were also able to compile a partial translation key for our attacker's language, Xerax Standard, but so far they have refused any attempts at contact. It's recommended that you do not engage their armed patrols and avoid the airspace around their installations or risk being shot down. We've already lost a hover bike over an older debris field while scouting to a random drone patrol, which was the last straw for us. So we're bugging out at, Z at 0600 for the last time. They have their own issues with Xerox, so it looks like we found a common goal that will help us get back with the rest of the fleet. Whoever you are, please be safe and come find us. We need everyone to make it through this get home alive. Lieutenant Romilly, acting captain. Copy files to suit hard drive. Ida, Commander, I've been analyzing the flight pathing of the patrolling drones. Well, I'd like to inform you that they've just changed course and heading in your direction. Roger that, Ida. Shutting the console down. Wonderful. Alright. Time to enact justice. What kinds of drones we got? Miniguns. We've got a range of 185 meters, so we gotta get closer. Is it hitting these things? No. 
hope it's hitting these things. I'm not hearing my mini guns go off, so it's a weird, weird thing happening. Bullets are certainly being spent. And the drones are definitely confused. I'm currently unsure of what's happening here. I don't think my uh, mini minigun turrets are working properly. I'm slightly over CPU. Is that a problem? And for some reason, these drones... They don't seem to uh, be very functional. Like, they just sit there. My sniper rifle is able to do damage to them. But I'm unable to do damage to it with my minis. Could it just be that my miniguns can't function under high CPU load? Well, that's one down. Uh oh. We need to bug out here. Taking in too much damage, the cockpit will get destroyed. We need to settle down right now. It seems like once once the drones spawn, they tend to get stuck. Oh, he did they didn't do too much. Except they caused some damage to the surrounding blocks. Which is alright as long as they don't damage anything important. Oh, and now you... This is weird. They only seem to work when I'm outside of... Okay. Let's see if we can kill this thing. And these things have a much greater range. Okay. For some reason, my turrets do not want to work inside the cockpit. So, we sustain minimal damage, nothing too serious. We're definitely gonna loot these guys. What they've got. Oh, let's take the ship over there just for ease of use. I just don't know why. My minigun turrets do not want to fire while I'm in first person view in the cockpit. It's kinda weird, not gonna lie. Is there anything else that was damaged? Again, I I really don't think I'll be reading any of the text that's currently scrolling. So if you're interested in reading it, you feel free to pause the video. I, uh, it scrolls way too fast for me to read large portions of it, and I'm not too good at speed reading all the time. So, okay, waiting for the next objective. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think are you saying I could have brain damage. Could come by the, this crash capital ship and scrap as well. If there's anything left to scrap on it. Also, I need to shift this back into pilot mode. Okay, so now we have somewhere to start a search. Keep post for any developments. Okay. Chapter 1. Breeze has been completed. So chapter two, a forest of stars. After uncovering the wreckage of the Heidelberg, 
and the fate of its crew, you set off after the survivors. Follow a trail gone cold almost a year to the neutral station they use to get off-world and escape their Xerax pursuers. Ida has identified a populated structure not far. This be the station the survivors used? Let's begin. Later, we'll be able to more than easily replace the uh, blocks on the front of the ship. I'm just glad that's all that was able... that was damaged. Nothing too important. I just need to receive my next objective, but uh, the scrolling text is currently going. Is that it right over there? Yep, there it is. Let's go towards the settlement. Currently rainy, so it's a bit foggy outside. We got plenty of power, so the ship can go on for a while. If this is, yes, this is the settlement I previously had visited before during my explorations. Let's come over here and uh, plant the craft and see what these Talon want. We should also be able to grow in population, uh, not population, uh, reputation. Why did I say population? Uh, we should be able to grow in reputation by doing these quests, I believe, too. Shut it off, conserve power. We are going to go speak to the chief. First contact, chief. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm guessing we have aggressive, neutral, and passive. Uh, I usually like to do a passive or good route, so sorry, but I don't understand any language. Your people are talent. Okay, Chief points to a tapestry depicting a pyramid-like tower being struck by lightning. Definitely can't even read this myself, of course. Chief gestures to the village gate and turns around. Let's get down here then. Get any of that, Ida? Best I've got is that the Chief wants me to go to some tower somewhere. I've recorded the conversation and identified the structure he indicated, Commander. It is quite far from your current location and is emitting a low electromagnet electromagnetic signature. Shall I send the location data to your display? Go ahead, Ida. Alrighty then. Where is this place? Curious. 
Wait, give me the location. Most, but not all. Should I be worried? Don't worry about it, Commander. Individuals I observed appear to be youths. If there's one thing I know, Ida, it's that angry use will always cause trouble. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Ah, there's the ancient tower we need to go to. Not terribly far, but that's also because we got a craft that we can use. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is the ancient tower that we've experienced before. I believe this is the vanilla story, so we haven't cracked into the reforged Eden story just yet. But this is a good way to get started on a story and pick up some basic things that you you could uh, acquire. Gonna drop on in the hall of knowledge. As you can tell, we have definitely busted in here before. Da -da -da. Some kind of holographic terminal will main contain the answers to your questions. Power, so I can't interface. With them. Take me alive. That wall. Alright, activate. Traffic, computer systems, they're operating on a base eight. I can't, can't read it fast. I am trying to read it aloud whenever I am reading it, but yeah, sometimes these tax boxes go by too fast. Transfer the files to stream systems. Complete the translation key. Please approach the console confirm. Loading Talon translation key to HDD. Talon.lex. Added to database. Forwarding translation to HUD and audio input output. The year of 1834, four, Noble Talon, having regained the power of space flight and finally returned to the stars, encountered our first adversary in the form of the Trade Federation. An economic power spanning thousands of systems without formal military. We found opposition with our enlightened system of equality and saw our people as both threat and resource. No military force of our own, we turned to an honorable warrior race, great in number and military prowess but lacking interstellar travel, and uplifted them to be our allies and protectors against the economic might of the Trade Federation. With their military and tactical superiority on their side, the Federation's aggression was halted and a stalemate achieved. Seeing no way for a profitable outcome for them, the Federation entered negotiations with our Xerax Talon Assembly to construct a system of codependent commerce between all our peoples, giving up their right to military forces in exchange for our allies' protection from external sources in their place. And so, the Trade Guild and the Xerax Talon Assembly were formed. This looks like some kind of historical record. Ida. It appears to detail the rise of the Talon and their protectors and allies, Xerax. From the dating system, I believe this would be some 2,000 years ago, and documents roughly 1,500 years of the Xerax Talon assembly's history over 800 pages. That's a long time to be allies for them to be in the condition they're in now. I'm guessing their more recent history must be... Ah, dang it, it's kept. Eat it. The red console is next. Running talent translation key. 99% accurate. Slowly, the silence spread across the galaxy, 
engulfing everything it touched. No warnings, no transmissions, no survivors. Gone were the days of peace for the assembly. War was upon us once again. The bonds that bond us together burned bright as the fires of war were waged upon the ancient evil of the past. Our past. Our legacy. An ancient enemy we thought left behind long ago. Bound to a dying galaxy. With no way to travel the gulf of emptiness between the origin and destination. Naive we were. For while we are bound by lifetimes and memory, they were not. They took the long journey across the expanse with no thought or risk. Only the cost of time the journey would take. To emerge here and now, when we were once again at peace to take from us all that we have built again. To fight was our only choice, but time and distance served to only strengthen the ancient enemy. And so silence spread like a stain across the face of the galaxy. For where they spread, only silence was heard. This doesn't seem to have anything on the Xerax. It's talking about some war. Whatever this enemy was, it was strong enough to topple a formidable alliance that had ruled the galaxy for over a millennium. I have found thousands of references to the legacy elsewhere in the database. But... Little information on their appearance, and nothing on their language or culture. They can't have been that effective since this happened, what, 400 years ago? And the Xerox are still here. There's no need to know about a dead enemy that we'll never run into. 239 years, Commander. But indeed, the records describe the defeat of the legacy further on. However... The legacy were not completely destroyed, merely rendered dormant through the science and ingenuity of the Talon and Xerax. But nothing that says how the Talon ended up as this. No, Commander, I'm not sure that it would be recorded here, or such an operation would have been would have, uh, would have been surgical leaving no one to update the records in the time permitted. There may be more information regarding that time on the Green Council. You can always come back and read about the legacy later if that interests, if it interests you. Here we go. More history of the Talon. Wait a second. This console only seems to have a database of talent controlled planets, foods, dances, and other cultural related stuff. While this is probably what the chief wanted me to read, uh, it's no use to us. Yes, this console appears to contain information about the talent as a people. Personally, I find it fascinating. Commander, can you enable the upload connection on the console so I can store these files for the UCH database? You? Ida? Find something fascinating? That's the most expression I've heard out of you so far, Ida. One of my parameters is to investigate and document first contact with any alien species, Commander. I am predisposed to f fascination of alien creatures. Does that mean you're investigating those... Ugh. Of course, Commander. If you'd like to know more about the creatures we've encountered, you can review the ecolo ecological database in your PDA. I'll, uh, I'll pass on that. Thanks, Ida. I'm sorry to interrupt, Commander, but I've detected heat signatures moving in on the tower in formation. I was able to trace them back to a transport half a kilometer away that landed outside my focus. I apologize for not detecting them sooner, Commander. How many hostiles are we talking about here? There are only three, Commander. They appear to have taken flanking positions. One at the top of the tower to prevent your escape, and two preparing to breach. I guess it's go time then. Oh boy, yep. They are here. And they are mad. 
you can take a bit of my assault rifle if you want. Thanks for the creds. I need that. Oh, hello. And down you go. Where's the other one? There's supposed to be one up here, right? There's supposed to be three. Where's the third one at? There you are. Ah, finally, some combat. Some gun combat. Not much, but that'll that'll do for a bit of uh, combat period. Got a bit of food from that too. Not much in terms of credits. However, now we get to return to the chief, and he might be able to give us a little something, I think. Thankfully, we did go out to do a bit of uh, setup and get a ship built and equipment, weapons that we're able to participate in this without too much issue. Again, this is the vanilla story, if I remember correctly. So things might not show their difficulty just yet until we get to the actual nitty-gritty of the reforged Eden stories and content that are out there. again doing the vanilla stuff is a good base for getting started I believe I see you have returned a traveler I hope your journey was enlightening you could say that you read the tales of the past did you not traveler the machine mind that communicates with you was able to read a Ah, dang. He knows about me. That is unexpected. I take it something unexpected happened to you. The Xerox strike team had been sent to the tower ahead of time. What? A tower contains a record of our history. Much as Xerox would like to refute it, they would never intentionally destroy such a... What can I tell you, Chief? They blew in a wall to get in and took out one of the consoles and everything behind it. The red one, I think. By the time I detached the t reached the tower, they had already landed a safe distance and were making their way on foot to the tower. That knowledge is backed up, so as long as the other consoles are undamaged, then it can be repaired. I can tell what you're thinking. That someone here told Xerox patrols where to find you, aren't you? Not to put too fine a point on it, Chief, but yes. It shames me to admit that you are probably right, probably right, Traveler. I can even understand why they did it. You see, a year ago, when the ships of your people crashed onto this planet, several villagers were caught in the fires caused by the flaming debris that rained down across the planet. I ordered my pe people to go and put out the fires of our settlement and those of our neighbors, then to aid any survivors from your sh people's ship. To my sorrow, when we tried to help your people, they mistook us for the Xerax, and our aid for an attack. We lost many people that night. Several of the young hunters lost friends and family members and have held it. After I had sent you to the tower to learn our ways and language to prove you were not an enemy, several of the hunters came to me and demanded that I render you no aid. That instead, I should contact our Xerax jailers and trade information for supplies or weapons. Naturally, I refused. I would be a poor leader to lend any assistance to the Xerax who would force these conditions upon us. Unfortunately, it seems the youngsters did not take my answer to their demands. Now it seems that they may have done something unforgivable. These conditions... I never did find out how the talent ended up this way. Ah, yes. That. It's not a terribly long story and happened long before my time, but if you're willing to listen to an old chieftain prattle on about the past, I'd be glad to indulge you. If only youngsters had the patience to learn their history, 
maybe this tragic situation wouldn't have happened. Following the defeat of the Legacy and their forced dormancy, the Xerax who suffered the greatest, or possibly only losses in the war, we Talon were centralized with not much desire for expansion and left that to those in the assembly who desired freedom. So we were all f far from the front lines. We're we're seen as crowds not fit to rule. Suspicions and discrimination escalated. Wild theories of us orchestrating the Xerax's demise at the hands of the legacy became common. Xenophobia reigned supreme until it all came to a head. The houses of Xerax united behind a single ruler, Emperor, and forcefully and violently ended Xerax Talon Assembly. Survivors from the Purge were herded into hundreds of plants across the galaxy, some to work as slaves, others forced into primitive conditions like us, kept from technological proficiency by an iron rule enforced by our watchers. That's really all there is. Look around you, and you'll see the truth of the tale, Traveler. That's terrible. Why have you not fought back? Fighting is a young man's game. Too old to fight and couldn't bear to order my people to their death. And it would be to their deaths. There's no way... <sighs> Sooner or later, Chief, your people will need to stand up and fight. Or one day they won't remember. I thank you for your opinion, Traveler, but this business is our own. Things will resolve themselves one way or the other. Shall we get back to the matter at hand, then? Yes. What's going to happen with the young hunters? The youngsters will be apprehended and brought before a tribal council to determine their guilt. Selling out an ally to Xerix is the highest crime. It's sand, is there some way I can help? I believe you may be to the opposition. On the other hand, I believe some of the other hunters may also refuse the order to bring in the youngsters. I would ask you if you are willing to speak to the head of the hunters and tell him to call in the hunters at my request. Right away, Chief. Alright. The Huntmaster. So, you are the Terran that Chief has vouched for. I'm not impressed. I'm not here to impress you. I'm here because the Chief asked me to tell you to bring in the young hunters that are suspected of selling me out to the Xerax. No member of my hunters would dare sell out anyone to the treacherous Xerox thugs. You dare accuse my kinsmen of making deals with their kind? I'm not accusing anyone. I'm, he I'm here to make sure you call in the hunters instead of warning them. My people have no reason to flee your false accusations, Terran. I've already sent out a messenger to bring in the hunting parties an hour ago. And are they back yet? Well, no. They should have returned some time ago. This does not mean that they are guilty of anything. Just that something has delayed them. They might be in trouble. Then I will go out and bring them in myself. No, you will not, Terran. I will go out and you will accompany me to ensure that there is no deception. I can live with that. So where are we going? Young Kiev is the closest. We should be near the stone monument at this time. He should be near the stone monument at this time of day. I'll meet you at the top of the tower. If I cannot find him, he will likely be near the tower, invisible from the top. Let's head out then. Base manager. Not kid far from the village commander. But this may be a trap. I would recommend. Exercising caution. Okay, so he's not the kind of NPC that would move. But I am taking my ship. Thank you very much. Ah, yes. This monument. Uh, he may attack if you try to bring him in by force. Nah, only worse in relationships. Oh, 
Hi there, Spidey. I hope you like a good helping of uh, pellets and lead. <laughs> I'll pull out the assault rifle, it'll be easier to use. Oh, fudge. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. oh, that is annoying. And hmm, I was caught. I was caught in the moment of a chat with this. Okay, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Alright. Get out of the way of fire. That's not cool. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. You're gonna. You're gonna sit here and boss me around while I'm freaking talking to a. NPC. No, thank you. Where is this guy? Where is all this Xerox that he's talking about? That. That just was not cool. I wish that was handled a little bit better. I mean, I forget that there's spiders in this monument, but I wish that you're in a state of invulnerability while locked in something like that. Or something to protect you while you're talking to an NPC. You can die now. I don't like you, you stupid spiders. Like, am I supposed to get under that somehow? Or is there... Oh! Well, hi there! That hurt like heck. <sighs> I know I keep swapping between hell and heck, but hey. Whatever comes out first, right? Yeah, um, where's the other dude? Because that did not feel good. Is he on the other side? Is this Xerox? If, if only I'd had the chance, I had to exit out of that dialogue forcefully because of that stupid spider. Probably didn't have to come down to this, but it certainly did. Um... Also seeing a little bit of a problem here. Uh, I don't see the other Xerax. So uh, maybe I might be able to find this guy. If I do a bit digging, maybe. Take me a while for no good reason. Um, I think this is bugged, and 
in which case, if this is bugged, we may have to forcefully... Yeah, we're gonna have to force the uh, completion of this quest. No way around it. Or can I not do that anymore? Oh, here we go. Uh, Kiva's betrayed the talent people I sell not due to the timing issues affecting Spawny. Yep. Okay. We're gonna have to auto-complete these because they have bugged out. Game's not perfect by any means. Kind of stuff happens from time to time. Let's just, uh, let's hope they're lenient. See what happens. Sea of Return Traveler. But it is without the missing hunter, Keeve. No, you do not need to explain. One of our hunters already saw you gunned down, Keeve, on top of the monument tower. It saddens me that you would work to gain my trust only to kill my clansmen in cold blood. What do you have to say for yourself now, Terra? I was only defending myself after he attacked me. We Talon are not a violent people who never initiate an attack, but we will respond if attacked. In this case, we have already received word that Q's body was found alone at the base of the monument with several holes in his body matching your weapon. There are no other bodies. Your guilt is clear, Terran. I had hoped you would become a friend of the clan, Traveler. We are so lacking in allies in these trying times that it seems that I pinned my hopes that we could mend the gap between our two people. I'm not lying. The bodies were moved after I left to return here. Enough. No, Chief. What the Terran says is true, I saw it with my own eyes. Keeve is a traitor. Huntmaster. You who lost so many of your hunters to the Terrans, you would only truly vouch for this one. You who cried loudest for vengeance against the Terran interlopers. <laughs> my cat just woke up, so he started me on. Yes, Chief. I watched Keeve lead a party of Xerax soldiers to the monument and initiate an attack on the Terran, who I sent to the monument to wait for me to bring Keeve peacefully. I didn't see four Xerax soldiers. I am the head of the hunters for a reason, Terran. I know my way around a knife and Xerax body armor. Oh, deadly. What I want to know is how you know the bodies were removed when I never saw you return. I am a lieutenant commander for a reason, Hunter. I have my ways. You had that machine mind watch the area, did you not? <laughs> if you think you can pull the fur over my, my chief's eyes, friend. Does your machine mind know who took away the bodies? Oh my goodness, I'm having trouble keeping up with all this. Please, people, forgive me if I cannot read it all in one sitting. I am not a fast reader. At least when speaking out for someone else. So, for the time being, I'll let it scroll. And I'll try and read it out whenever I possibly can. Which I've been. But still, this is just scrolling way too fast for me. Yes, I believe it is, Huntmaster. I'm sorry, Traveler. You had to see us in a time of weakness. I must truly be getting old if I could not see the darkness brewing within our youth. It's not your fault, Chief. These are your people. They were wronged by mine. True, but the fault lies with me for not realizing how troubled my clansmen are. 
and also lies with them for not bringing their troubles to me before the situation worsened to what we have now. Things could have been much worse, so I'm glad that a crisis was averted, even if the result isn't what anyone could call positive. You're now a friend of the clan, Traveler. Right? Welcome. I'd be at ease here. If there's anything I can do for you, do, do to help you, please ask me. Where did the Terran survivors go to? The clansmen? Their vehicles headed to the tribe trade station belonging to the Polaris traders. Most because I was purchasing medical supplies. Yada 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 yada. I will give you the coordinates of the station if you need them, but I'm sure your machine mind has already found the structure. Hope you find your people again, traveler. May the spirits guide you to Empyrean, if not to your people. May the spirits guide you too, chief. Yeah, now you're sounding like a member of the clan. Feral chief Natuk. Hope to see you again. Oh, well. Let's see. Industrial concerns. You've cleared your name and found an unlikely ally in the Talon. But it seems things are not always what they seem. And trust needs to be earned in this new galaxy. Can the players who helped smuggle your people off worlds ahead of the Xerax be trusted? Or are they playing a deeper game? Only time will tell. Let's give it a begin. Just so we have something else to do. I'm going to look at our faction. I gained quite a bit. If we uh, get that extra couple hundred, we'll be friendly. We'll be able to do various actions within the uh, talent territory. So, let's look around for some spiders to kill in the territory. Usually the best thing is to just find some hostile creature, kill it within territory of those you want to gain relations with, and uh, yeah. Let's just do, let's try and do a little bit of that if we can. Uh, not crash the ship, <laughs> grind the ship across the ground. What is that? Oh, it's more talent. More talent. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything. These are friendly creatures. If you shoot them, the talent will get upset. Friendly. Spiders? Any, anything anywhere? Thing I can shoot and kill? You would think there would be uh, more creatures out here to kill. Spiders and raptors or something like Oh, we can kill that. us that much, but uh, it's getting close. Let's go loot whatever this thing dropped. A couple slabs of meat. That'll do. Let's uh, access the fridge. Oh, I guess I forgot to put a fridge on this thing. Well, that's fine. It should be simple enough to slap one on. Uh, Well, oh, did it actually do damage to my, uh, whatchamacallit, the cockpit, yeah, I guess it actually did some damage to the cockpit, which is kind of surprising, I guess acid spit can chew through certain materials. If it's acidic enough. 
small farm. I'm thinking... I don't know if we're gonna find one or two more things to kill. Would be nice because we could do quite a few things within Talon territory if we can become friendly with them. Oh boy, knocking around some trees. Ah, here we go. There's another spidey. Be friendly yet? Not quite. I'm not gonna bother grabbing meat from that one because I don't have a refrigerator, anyways, to keep it cool. Ah, bother about it later. Going on 51 minutes, we might as well head towards the trade station and co continue the quest. We might get some more reputation during the quest, anyhow. For now, we need to get some credits. We need to be able to purchase some components to either make or earn or find better armor. Upgrade weapons when possible. There's quite a few things we can do to get ready. But as of right now, we have to stick with the more basic amenities. We have to continuously salvage, go out and attack some bases, raid them collect material, which we haven't raided a Xerox base yet, and they are usually always, always stocked with something. They are very great bases to raid, but I also hear that they are much greater in difficulty uh, in Reforged Eden, so we're definitely not going to be able to touch them for a little while until we get shields for our vehicles so we can knock out the turrets from a distance and let alone being shot down by said turrets because watching uh, Don over at Dead and Dex play games I've been watching his Imperium videos and I wow well, yeah giant laser rocket turrets uh, even minigun turrets, they tend to shred blocks if you don't have a shield, let alone already shredding your shield. Commander Squadron or Bomber are like converging on your location. What? There's nothing on my aid here. On my radar. What the hell, Ida? My apologies, Commander. <laughs> oh, that was her attempt. He or she, wh whichever the uh, AI is, normally female. Uh, at humor? Yeah. No, that was that. That is no, not such good humor. Like that's more like, holy crap! There's bombers. Ida's uh, humor meter has gone through the roof, apparently. I was a little worried there for a moment. I like, oh, great, more things. Okay, bartender. Huh? It's a bit cliche. <laughs> Ain't seen one of you guys in here for a while. What you want? Pretty sure I saw some humans over there. Those guys? They ain't Terrans. Fire scanner on the way. Ian should have told you that. Aside from looks. 
You don't got nothing in common with that lot. You want a drink or not? No thanks. I'm looking for my crew. Can't have you with that, pal. Last year, people got on shuttles about a cycle ago and buggered off out of the stump. If you ain't buying a drink, then you can bugger off like your friends. Alright, <laughs> thanks anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's not a very nice one. But shopkeeper, hello there, valuable, valuable customer. What can I do for you today, sir? Ammunition? Supplies? Camping gear? You look like the outdoors type, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> let's let's go for this one. I'm looking for a Xeon at Mark 20 guided rocket launcher with a retractable sight and thermal tracking. I'm afraid I'm not stocking anything like that, sir. I'm terribly sorry. Maybe you should try interweb or one the uh, suspicious businessmen, which I wouldn't know anything about. I believe the gentleman you have business can be found at Kinex 62 in orbit. Which, like I said, I know nothing about. <laughs> well, do you know anything about my fellow crew members? Maybe not, sir. I only have a head for my business and not of the comings and goings of anyone else. If you're looking for someone, I recommend this uh, UC motorcycle. There's nothing faster. Uh, a UCH motor. Yeah, I'm more interested in a Zorg ZS1 assault rifle. Get any of those? I'm afraid I'm not stocking anything like that, sir. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, he's going to say the same thing. Okay, he's going to. The UCH motorbike. Did you get that? So you have a good eye, sir. This lovely piece of machine was sold to me almost a year ago by a group of newcomers. If you're interested in where they got them you should ask uh, how about the bicycle the how does 3200 <laughs> credits on you huh not interested sorry <clears throat> okay well uh, it's interesting talking to these traders however i mean i would love that they'd had something i could actually well you know buy also, I am going to shove these 25 credits into the ATM because I do not want it on me. Security manager. I see you're done hassling the station staff and have finally come here, come to me. I was getting tired of watching your bumbling around, obstructing productivity, and being a general nuisance. There's no need to open your mouth, Terran. I know what you want. You want me to tell you where your friends have gone. As you can see, they're obviously not here. They left a cycle ago on a transport, which I'm sure you already know. Anything more is confidential information, only accessible to Polaris employees, of which you are not. Don't even consider begging or threatening me for the information. I will have station secured on you before you can even holster your weapon. <laughs> I could just keep asking around until I find someone who knows. Indeed you could. Wouldn't help you any though. You see, the station personnel here are all Polaris employees and know better than to reveal industrial secrets to an unknown party. I know about your support AI as well, and Pol Polaris has one of our own. So please stop with the attempts at system intrusion. L the little flashing light icon on my display is playing on my nerves. Ida, I cannot breach the station security network. I'm being blocked by another AI, as he says. If I were closer to the station and had full use of my systems, I'm confident that I could get in. But for now, it may be best to do as he says. The vacant expression on your face tells me that your supporter is telling you that I'm right. Of course, I'm always right. <laughs> wow, he's a snob. <laughs> so, are we ready to get down to business? I'm not pretending to put you in the face. I wouldn't recommend that. 
you wouldn't like the experience. Oh, I'm sure you'd enjoy the brief elation of me punching elation of punching me in the face before you're shot in the head by station security. <laughs> that would cause more problems for me. But it wouldn't be any of your concern anymore concern anymore would it but if you still insist go right ahead all right you made your point so what do you want i'm glad you see reason i'd hate to call in the cleaners but what i want you cannot provide but you are a useful step on the road to which i want are you aware of the situation between the polaris megacorp and the xerox empire no of course you're not but this is where you're needed, according to my superiors. So these orders are from on top? Nothing to do with you? <sighs> no, this is not my decision. Nor is this my chosen way of doing things. Either way, I'll get my promotion out of this dump and into Habsack. Where I don't have to deal with clowns like you. Let me explain the situation in terms you can understand, alright? Polaris Megacorp is the greatest economic power in this galaxy and formerly a subsidiary of the Trade Guild up until the War of Silence two and a half centuries ago, when we broke away as an independent power following the War of Silence. The Xerox are our major consumer of raw materials, but as we've been exhausting the deposits in our own quadrants of space, Depleted Xerax have failed to utilize the resources and territory that they've refused to give up rights to and can barely sustain an active presence over. Simply put, we want what they have but cannot use. What does any of this have to do with me? Let me finish explaining before you interrupt with your inane questions. You are clearly not Polaris and have no ties to the corporation or to any local faction. Save your UCH Navy. Those lack of connections make you a useful tool for disrupting Xerox control over certain territories and planets without any repercussions for the company. You are free to move in, attack Xerox, which I'm sure you don't mind doing consider what they did to your people and leave the depopulated territory to the company to move in and set up. What would you call it? Humanitarian aid for the survivors of your vicious random attack? And what do I get out of this? What you get is the next step on your journey towards your missing people. And of course, as an employee of Polaris Corp, you are entitled to pay and some benefits, health care, Dental, employee discounts, the usual. Since you have little choice in the matter, why don't you just agree already? I've just forwarded the agreement to your support AI to sign on your behalf. Hurry and get it over with, since your first assignment is time sensitive. Eat it. Did you receive the contract? Anything I should worry about? I did, Commander. Aside from an attempt to slip some malware to me in the contract, it's a very loose contract. I've checked it against other station personnel's contracts that I was able to access on personal devices, and yours is unusually free of loopholes or deception. I would guess that such a loose contract would prevent them from being legally bound to defend you in the event of your capture, with as few ties as possible to the Polaris. In effect, it gives them plausible deniability. There's likely a deeper game being played here, but nothing that would conflict with your allegiance to the UCH. Alright, Adida, do I need to actually sign anything? No, Commander. I've registered it and returned a copy of the contract. I also included their own malware packet in the signature. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Good work, Ida. I wish I'd thought of that myself. Okay, manager, everything's been signed and sent back to you. Yes, I can see that. Everything appears to be in order. Welcome to the company, Lieutenant Commander Combite. I'm hoping you'll be a valuable asset to us. Your employee number is 8376455466. 
memorize it. It is more important than your life now. Just in case, if I actually have to memorize it, I'll take a screenshot of it. I have a job for you already. I'm not going to repeat the numbers. It's a time sensitive one, so I hope you have a ship ready. One of our surveyor towers has drifted over a Xerox owned ore vein, and we're concerned they may, they may, may take hostile action. The company wants you to scare our asset as an unaffiliate, unaffiliated third party. Hey, what about my people? You're supposed to tell me where they went. I'm not supposed to do anything. You are an employee of Polaris, a contractor, with no say in what I do. Uh, I've sent the job details to your secretary, AI, to handle. You are to go protect Polaris assets from unwanted Xerox interference as a member of the UCH. We want plausible deniability within the hour. Now go. You better have the answers when I come back. They're preparing to launch an attack on the structure. Okay, let's uh, let's let's just hope that we can actually uh, do something against these guys. Well, I can hope. Running at already an hour. This might be our last trip for the night for me. It's like past midnight already. What is that to the left? Is that a Polaris? Yeah, that's a Polaris. These are all the Polaris structures. It's like a little Polaris colony. And also I'm going to get out of piloting mode because it, I might find it easier to combat with being able to directly uh, affect the crosshair. Sitting at three kilometers away, we should be there pretty soon. It's not too bad of a distance. I do need to eat something though. Oh. Um. Well, this is all I've got. Maybe uh, if we're fighting Xerax, they might drop some uh, grub for us to munch on. Also, I, st I still have no idea why my uh, Gatling turrets will not fire in first person could be the positioning of them. I'll just have to probably uh, test around and see what goes. But if anyone has an idea, I'm, I'm definitely reading comments whenever possible. Oh, that's the uh, crash capital that we've been to already. to the survey tower, get close to the surveyor. to move the survey now. Xerox preparing to attack the tower. That's why you're here. I'm recovering the grab field, but you gotta keep... Okay. Still too fast. Okay. Destroy Xerox bombers. No. Oh, there they are. Oh, jeez. Holy crap, these bombers can move. Come on. I can't. Oh, I can't. 
can't move my camera fast enough to target them. Come on. There we go. Laying some hits. Ooh, you're gonna try and bomb me? Fun with that. Oh my gosh, this craft is stupid heavy. Come on. Come on. Kill the bomber. Oh boy, this ship is hard to turn. I need to add some more mobility to it somehow. Whether it be thrusters or RCS. Probably need upgraded thrusters. However, it is using large thrusters. I think it's just a heavy ship. Again, I did put some cargo in it. Oh boy, this is this is a task. I need a I need a better ship for fighting. But you're gonna fire basic weaponry at me, huh? Try something. Might not work, but it might. Oh, heck. Okay, nope, can't sit still like that. They know how to bomb. Uh, wow. This definitely does not feel like... Uh. Well, folks, uh, as interesting as this might be, I think I'm going to call it night on the recording. This is going to take me a bit of time. With as clunky as the aiming is on the ship, it's... zone you may live in and uh yeah i'll catch you in the next episode this is gonna take me a little bit see you then bye bye <laughs>